chicken and rice soup. It is the best soup I ever had. It's made with Uncle Ben's original flavored rice, some cream, some celery, some carrots and some onion, some butter, a little bit of flour. You guys, come and join me for that. You're going to be glad that you did. <laughs> well, the first thing I did was get my crock pot out and get it ready. And then now I'm going to cut the chicken. Okay, I use chicken breast for this recipe. And my favorite thing to do with chicken breast, if you guys buy it like this, it comes frozen. And if you leave it in the refrigerator frozen for a day and a half, it makes it a lot easier to cut when it's frozen. And then we just put the rest of it that we don't use into a freezer bag. But let me tell you, this is the best way to cut up chicken and have it ready for any meal that you're going to do. It doesn't take it long to unthaw. And one chicken breast will feed us two times, It'll get us two meals because of the way we fix it. Okay, so now I need about four cups of broth, so I'm going to go ahead and put in about four cups of water. I'm not going to be seasoning it at all because the Uncle Ben that we're going to put in makes it just perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on low and we're going to cook it about six hours probably. We'll have nice broth there. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and cut up those two breasts that I have left. And as a matter of fact, as big as that one breast is, we're going to get three sacks fulls. And I'll show you that. and 23 cents later we have six meals with just those three breasts of chicken and we do our hamburger our ground beef like that as well that way when we get a package out it's thin enough to unthaw very easily or just throw it in the refrigerator and let it unthaw over the course of the day so i have my big pot out here and i'm going to be putting some extra virgin olive oil in there and i'm going to be dicing up celery and carrots and onions. You put in as much celery and carrots as you want. I'm gonna do about three stalks of celery and probably about five carrots because I really, really like carrots. I don't peel my carrots. I just put the whole thing in there. Now when I get one like this that has a larger end, I'll only go down about part way. And then I'll just save this to do something else with. Now some people like to shred their vegetables in their stew, and that's perfectly fine. I 
I like mine in chunks. So next I have this beautiful onion from my garden. So you just saute your vegetables probably about 15, 20 minutes until they're, you know, fairly soft. But you still got time to soften them up after you put the Uncle Ben's rice in there. So just put them on medium high and let them saute in that oil. Okay, that's about 20 minutes. So now what I'm going to do is add two tablespoons of butter. Then after that melts, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of flour. Okay, two tablespoons of flour. Chicken spoon. Okay, stir that around a little bit and let it cook. Like, not even a minute, just enough to stir around, and get it in there. Next, what you're going to do is take that chicken and you're going to pour it and the broth all in the pan. And that flour is going to help to thicken up the soup for you. Now you do not have to put your chicken in a crock pot like I did. You can go ahead and boil it and get it done that way. Okay, just put in an Uncle Ben's long grain and wild rice original flavor. And that seasoning pack is what is going to season your soup wonderfully. Then you're going to cover it up and you're going to cook it about 15, 16 minutes on medium low, just like you would rice. Okay, it's time to add, I just add a whole can of evaporated milk. Stir it, let it simmer for about five minutes, and we eat. taste it right now because it's really really hot but try it thanks for joining me today you guys and if you've never done it do it go out and enjoy life do something different